Gabe Davis. We are at the oldest continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago. The Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with their opponents. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They've been as hot as anyone. The win last week makes it 9 out of 10. The results are hard to argue. If there's a team better suited for the postseason right now, Take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments and doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's Jackson. And he will take it in. For a Dolphins touchdown. A 15 yard touchdown grab as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? We've seen him. The quick slant caught. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker. And you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? Ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Third and two. Here's Jackson. He and he will score. Touchdown, Miami. It's their quarterback with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Dolphins. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. To throw is Jackson. Off play action. Eluding the pressure right. He'll try and run it. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. To throw is Jackson. And that will be incomplete. Wilson with a first down carry. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Second and 10. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Back to throw. Jackson. He's going to look deep down the field. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. 
Picked off at the 40. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. the 25 a Miami first down that one going for a gain of 11 in today's football where receivers break tackles make people miss <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot that's a big time play by the defense there's a ball thrown right side and complete and he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45 Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, Jackson rolling to his left. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route, worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions like that with a lot of... themselves a first down one play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10 they'll run it now out of the gun and the play goes nowhere losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39 that's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Now on second and 13, Jackson got his man complete over the middle. That's Black. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A Miami first down on the 14-yard pickup. We didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. In for the score. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. Yeah. Jackson on first down. 
And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it was just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. 23 yards on the play. How did he do that? I've got, how did he do it? I mean, in this type of weather, it's not just catching it, it's seeing it coming towards it. Maybe that's why he ended up having to go up one-handed, but boy, what a catch. That was a spectacular one-handed grab. Now he will go out right near the 35-yard line. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. Jackson now, throwing on first down. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Going again, Jackson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And now offensively, it's third and ten, and I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 15-yard line. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface Tap. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. A 15-yard touchdown grab. But the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Jackson, gonna throw again. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. Uh, he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him, double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. On second and 10, Jackson, wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Call it a loss of eight yards on the play. And it'll be a second and long. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Here's Jackson to throw. Caught here by Bell. 
you can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target. In Play fake. Here's Jackson. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Jackson throwing again. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off at the 35. And he's going to get the... shake off the interception he'll look to throw looking left side it's complete he's got it and they work this well on field across the 45 23 yards the final tally well, how about this aggressive approach got the lead fourth quarter continuing to throw the football are you thinking about Super Bowl 51 <laughs> Atlanta have the lead against New England and just, they ended up giving it up? I was going to say don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. From just shy of midfield, Jackson forced out to his left. Throw left side complete. It's black. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off at the 20. He's at the 40. 20. And he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. to the air Jackson following the pick six and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down an incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25 to throw is Jackson to throw again being chased out left Late in the game, defense trying to avoid a big play. He's able to work out of the passing game, turn it into a run, pick up the first, and stop the clock as well. And you know in this situation, everything is sped up. The intensity, the thinking, everyone's movement. But for a quarterback, he has to continue to do what we call flat line. Level in everything he does and read the clock, feel it in the pocket, and go at the appropriate time. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Throwing on first down, Jackson. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. The improv act there, good for nine, and now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Jackson to throw. 
Dancing to his left. He can run for it, and he will. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Here's Jackson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Johnson was the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Throwing now is Jackson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. That means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. This is caught. The completion there. Jackson flush to his right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. You've got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Now what can Jackson do here in overtime? Buying time to his left. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Black. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. Little OT scramble drill that time, Mr. Davis. And partner, I can tell you from personal experience, nothing drives a defense crazier than having things covered and the quarterback takes off and picks up a first down or big yardage. Because whether we are in zone or man, it's easy to lose track of him because you don't always have someone assigned to him. And once he goes, now everybody's scrambling to try and tackle him. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Jackson down on first and ten. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they're working inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. That is caught at the seven-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's... And this will be caught! Touchdown! Quarters with you in this one. I got some overtime. A little whip cream and one. And they will hit the road next week to take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, it's another week with more questions than answers as they fall to three and nine. And they'll try again next week at home against Philadelphia. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.